Shalom, Shalom. All praises, our power, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world evenly calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists, He is to be. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world evenly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation, He delivers, He saves. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. The blinders to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach one of the world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth and risk of the own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwati, listen, listen, and learn, and sincerity and the truth and in silence, Shalom. Akiam meaning brothers, Akwati meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp, here in Toronto with another lesson. Right? And we'll get right into it. This article right here came out on Newsmax. Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. The hopeful year that all these prophecies have come to pass. It says here, U.S. self-deletion numbers hit new record high in 2022. Right? Right? Scripture say, give me any plague but the plague of the mind. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Look it up on my phone. My, uh, I'm having router problems. Router problems with my, um, with my, uh, Wi-Fi. And it's, uh, causing nothing but issues. Everything's buffering. My phone's buffering. My computer is buffering. Sirac 25. Let's see if we can find it here. Sirac 25. And I'm waiting on a new router. But you know how that go. Everything's slow. Sirac 25. Verse 13, it reads, Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. Right? The Hebrew word for heart is lob. Lob meaning mind. Right? You got to be plagued in your mind, bugged out in your mind. And the Lord's got to put, <laughs> God, Lord's got to put that spirit on you, a death angel, a death angel on you, for you to off yourself, for you to delete yourself. Right? King Solomon is saying here, Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. Heart being mind. And any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman, right? King Solomon is saying, give me, give me anything wicked, but don't give me the wickedness of a woman, right? So King Solomon is saying here, the plague of the mind and the wickedness of woman are two things he does not want to encounter, right? A spirit's got to be on you to off yourself. The Lord got to put that, it's a, it's a fearful thing to fall on the hands of living power. U.S. deletion, U.S. self-deletion numbers hit new record high in 2022. You see the thumbnail. It looks like what perceive what looks like the eye test. Got to try the spirit, but what looks like perceives to be an Edomite, right? Plagued in the mind, going through it. You you look on social media. There's nothing but uh Shedomites all over social media and, and TikTok and and all these social media platforms. Crying on, 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 on live streams and, and, fa and FaceTimes. Crying about how hard it is. And it's not, it, it, it's going to get harder. Because the Lord's visiting this place. Isaiah 47 verse 1 says here, Lament for Babylon. What does it mean to lament? Cry, sorrow. Like when a, woman's, when a woman is burying her, 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 her children. You ever see them women at funerals burying their children? They, they try to jump in the grave with, with, with the casket, with the coffin. And when they're crying, it's a howl. Right? It says here, lament for Babylon. Isaiah 47, 1. Come down and sit in the dust. Right? Sit in the dust. It's talking about America. Right? Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Babylon. America the Great. And we know it's talking about America because it refers to her as a virgin daughter. 
of Babylon, right? Come down and sit in the dust, sit in the dust, uh, confusion, right? Babel, Babal, right? This is the land of confusion, man. America the Great. Moism and, and alphabet boys and, and drag racers and transmission mechanics. If you know, you know. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon, right? Virgin daughter of Babylon, daughter of ancient Babylon, virgin daughter. And why is she? Why is America the Great, Babylon the Great, being called a virgin? Because she hasn't been touched, man. Right? War hasn't popped off on on Babylon the Great soil. Right? America the Great had those wars, 1776 independence. They had those uh, Spanish, the French, and the British skirmishes. Skirmishes. Then they got their independence. But war hasn't touched the soils of America. America the Great hasn't been touched. 1776 till now is what? Some quick math. 247 years. Right? We're seeing the swan song of America the Great, Babylon the Great. And we're seeing plague of mind right here in this article. Let's read. I finish that scripture. Hold on. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, right? Be brought low. You're, 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 you're being low. You're, 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 the Lord's humbling you. You're being brought down low, man. You're, you're about to drink this cup. There is no throne. Throne, your rulership, you Edomites. Esau, Edom. These ruling class elites, the wicked according to scripture. These banking cartels, right? Your rulership is about to be, the, the Lord is about to break the scepter of your rulership. O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans, right, daughter of the Chaldeans. America the Great is founded on witchcraft. In the ancient world, the Chaldeans were, were witches, warlocks, sorcerers, right? America the Great is founded on sorcery, uh, masonry, right, witchcraft. O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, right? No more be called tender and delicate. That whole bright lights, big city uh, uh, stigma attached to you. That's gone. Right? The land of milk and honey. Everybody wants to go to America. Listen, there was some news about a week ago, two weeks ago. These migrants coming across the border up there, uh, down there in Chicago. They want to go back to Venezuela, man. Right? The, the allure of America the Great, Babylon the Great, it's being, it's being, it's being tarnished. Right, let's read a little bit of this. Self-deletion numbers reached a grim new high in 2022. The increase was most acute among women over the age of 24, right? You women. According to provisional data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, overall almost 49,500 people lost their lives to self-deletion in 2022. The report found a 3% rise from the nearly 48,200 deletions recorded in 2021. That makes the 2022 deletion toll from self-deletion the highest number ever recorded in the U.S. in the United States, according to the CDC researchers. The data they the preliminary so the 2022 final number of self-deletions is likely to be higher as additional deletion certificate certificates with pending causes of deletion are determined to be self deletions they noted for reason not explained in the report middle-aged and older women appear to be hit hardest by the rise in self deletions you women man right and it's going to get worse out here man you know what i mean uh uh uh, uh I read an article today that um, um, companies are, are, are backing away from um, diversity, equity, inclusion, I believe that's what the phrase was, in, 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 in companies, meaning they're, they're, they're going to, they're, 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 they're stalling, they're holding back on hiring uh, uh, primarily women. And men, but primarily women of 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 uh, that are minorities, 
All right, let's get that scripture real quick, man, in Isaiah. Isaiah 32. Yeah, let's go, let's go to the, uh, this buffering thing is getting out of hand. We'll just read it from the, from, from the scripture. Isaiah 32. Verse 9, it reads, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Right? These women out here, these proud women out here, at ease. Right? Pushing their own Bentley key. They got their, their, their sky-rise condo facing, facing the, the with, with a beautiful view. They're on their own. They're at ease. Right? The, it's been a good run. The benefits have been good. Right? Living in pleasure. Scripture says, She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? Because they, the, the, they don't have a man of the Lord over them. Right? And the times that are about to come to this place. Right? We're reading the report. Uh, Self-deletions are up. Record high. Isaiah 32 and 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Right? And the trouble that's coming to this place, unless you have a man of the Lord over you, man, you woman out here. Right? All over TikTok and, and the social media is, is these Shemites crying about uh, about living. What are they going to do when the men are carted off to war? And there's Gerger, Gerger troops out here uh, 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 patrolling the streets. Isaiah 32 and 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, right? Many days and years ye shall be troubled, right? Jacob's troubles is coming, a time like no other. For the vintage shall fail, the vintage, the jobs, the benefits, right? The gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, Right? The Lord's about to humble you, woman. Strip you and make you bare. Bring you low. Humble you. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right? You're going to be in a state of mourning. 12 verse. They shall lament for the teats. The teats mean, meaning our, our breasts. They shall be lamenting for, for, the, for the perks, the benefits of Esau's system, man. Esau's employment system. Esau's job system. For the pleasant fields. For the fruitful vine. Right, this whole thing is is topping like a house of cards. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briers. Thorns and briers are going into the uh, Esau's legislation. Yeah, upon all the houses of joy, in the joyous city, right, and and and, and the, the legislation always falls on Jacob, man. Right. No matter, the, the curses follow Jacob everywhere he goes, man. No matter what you're doing. There's red tape. There's legislation. There's paperwork you got to file as Jake. Esau don't gotta, doesn't get it like that. Right? But, the, the, but these suicide, these, these, like, yeah, these self-deletion numbers, man, they're affecting Jake. They're affecting Edomites primarily because that spirit is on Edom to off himself, man. Right? Let's read. In absolute numbers, men are still far more likely than women to delete themselves. In 2022, 39,255 males deleted by self deletion versus 10,194 males, uh, Salakia, females. However, however, the percentage increases, Salakia, however, the percentage increase in self deletions upon, among women. In 2022 was much steeper than what has been among men. 4% versus 1% respectively. The CDC team noted, right? Because women can't listen. The weaker vessel, man. It's about to get brutal out here. It's about to get savage. The 2022 rise among females was concentrated in those aged 25 and older. While self-deletion rates fell among younger women and female teens 
it jumped seven it jumped seven percent for women between the ages of twenty five and thirty four right them working women them career women women over thirty five also saw their rates for self deletion rise by between two percent and nine percent the report authors noted the only good news from the report published november twenty ninth by the National Center for Health Statistics came for young Americans. According to the researchers for both males and females, self-deletion rates generally declined from 2021 to 2022 for younger age groups from age 10 to 34 for, for males and, and 10 to 24 for, for females. Still, deletions from self-deletions have risen almost steadily during the 21st century with increases experienced for both males and females and across races and age groups. Right? So, all nations are getting touched with plagues of the mind. Right? I think that's it on that. Right? That's a plague of the mind. Right? That's the Lord visiting this place, man. Right? And, and what's contributing to it? The, the cost of living. People trying to survive. People trying to eat. People trying to keep homes over uh, roofs over their heads. People living in cars and, 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 and tent cities. And storage containers. Right? Let's get a scripture. Babylon the Great. America the Great. Lamentations 4. Verse 21, and it reads, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Right? Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Right? You Edomites. Right? Rejoice and be glad. That dwell, that dwellest in the land of Uz. Right? And Uz was an ancient capital city of Edom. Right? America, America the Great, Babylon the Great is the capital city of the Eben, Edomites, man. Right? Rejoice and be glad, you Edomites that are in America. Right? The cup also shall pass through unto thee. The cup. What cup? These, cur these curses. Right? Ultimately, slavery. Other scriptures came to mind. It's in Jeremiah. It's in Jeremiah. See, let me look at my phone. Thou shalt surely drink. Right, these curses. Bear with me, Salakia. Jeremiah forty nine. Verse 12, and it reads, For thus saith, for thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it, right? Israelites. <laughs> they weren't, they weren't, it was not of them to, they were not supposed to drink of the cup, but they have sure assuredly drunk in, right? The cup, these curses. And art thou he that shall all together go and punish, right? You other nations, beginning with Esau, Edom. Shall you go and punish? Thou shalt not go and punish, but thou shalt surely drink of it, right? You got to drink. You got you got you got next. You're up. Beginning with you Edomites, back in Lamentations four, verse twenty-one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Right. Let's look at this word cup in uh, Lamentations. For, for, for edification. Right. Cut. Listen. Esau, Edom can't take, can't take adversity, man. 
He can't handle it. So what does he do? He deletes himself. He runs up in the Walmart. Deletes, takes, takes, takes 15 jakes with him. Right? Nine, nine, nine Southern Kingdom and, 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 and nine, and nine uh, uh, Northern Kingdom. And then he offs himself. Women and children. This is what, this is what Isai Edom does. It's because we're a cup. So this word cup, Slakia. I tell you this router thing. Strong's H three five six three. Strong's H five. Six three. Strong's age thirty five sixty three. Coast. Coast. Cup. A kind of owl, an unclean bird. In the Strong's from an unused root meaning to hold together. A cup as a container, often figuratively a lot. As if a potion, also some unclean bird, probably an owl, perhaps from the cup-like cavity of its eye, cup, small owl. Compare, it said, uh, it said here, uh, often figuratively, a lot. Right, and what is a lot? Ultimately, hardcore slavery for these other nations, man. Right? says here a cup full of wine right Psalm what is that scripture in Psalm 73 in Psalm 73 uh, drink the dregs the dregs of the cup right Ezekiel uh, it's like your Lamentations uh, 4 and 21 rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of Uz the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Right. You're going to drink. You're going to be drunk. You're going to be drunk with this cup. You're going to be consumed just like Jake. The curses, the curses everywhere uh, 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 Yashar Allah goes is a, is a curse. You can't escape them. Right. Let me get that scripture quick. Uh, Jeremiah 30. Right, beginning with Esau, Edom, but all these nations gotta gotta partake of this. Uh, Jeremiah thirty verse sixteen. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Right, all nations, beginning with you Edomites, but you Moabites, you 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 Ishmaelites, you Hamites, you you you, you Ammonites, all of you, man, because you've touched the the apple of the Lord's eye, man. You all had a part. You, you all partook in it. Right? Scripture say what nation it says uh, all nations took part. Let me see if I can find that real quick. First Maccabees two and ten. What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom and gotten over spoils? Right? So all you nations took part in, in, in the demise of Yasharala. Gotten over spoils. You you rob and you took. You you pillaged, right? Uh, there was a there was a video in the group chat today of a, a Jake in the UK, I believe, arguing with a, a a store owner, right? Who was Elam, and the store was a, a West Indian uh, supermarket, and she was arguing with him. And it, it picks up midway in her argument. She's like, "Pull out the knife again! Pull out the knife again!" Basically, I guess Elam had a knife on her, but Elam was the guy behind the cash register who happens to be the shop owner, man. You know what I mean? All these nations hate you, Jake. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee 
shall be a spoil. Spoil means to take, rob, right? And all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey, right? So it's going to be reversed, right? All you nation got to bow down. All of you. Right, beginning with you, you might begin with you, well, with Esau's elites. Back in Lamentations four, verse twenty-one: Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Right, you're, you're going to be you're, you're you're being exposed. All your wickedness is is is, is on blast. It's out there. Right, we're in the age of uh uh uh. Instant videos going viral, in instant, uh, uh, instantaneous uh, uploads and reports of things uh, worldwide. Lamentation four and twenty-two. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, it's about to be uh, uh, reversed. Right, daughter of Zion, Israelites, Israel being a people before it's a place. Beginning with the elect, cut two thirds of our people are going to die horrific deaths on this side, lest they repent. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Right? No more captivity. This is it. This is it, man. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Right? You Edomites are about to be visited. The Lord is about to get real up close and personal with you, man. You're about to drink of this cup. He will discover thy sins. Right? And Esau, Edom can't, can't, can't take adversity. So with that, Stay prayed up, prayed out ceasing. I pray you edified. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles, and elders of great millstone who teach you on a rule well. Shalom to the whole full leg.